Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. It's that boy G playing. Don't give a damn. He cooler than the fan. Walking real tall. Some say he's man. Yeah, you right. Um, I say the other night I seen um Lit Jeremy and Forty Two Doug had a had a video shoot. And everybody was out. And there. Everybody was out there. So that was an example you was talking about. Exactly. You know, um, were, were you out there? I was out there. Like, I'm outside. I'm telling you. <laughs> Every time there's something going on, I'm there. You're going to see yeah. me. Whether I pass through there for a little bit or yeah. I'm in the middle of it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, straight up. And speaking of Lil Jeremy, man, um, I was going through. I see him. He had come in on your post. Y'all look like y'all got a nice relationship. Like, can you explain your relationship? Because, like, like Lil Jeremy is going up. You know what I'm saying? And yep. it's, it's good to see. I like I like what he got going on. Like I said, I like what you got going on. But speaking of that, and since we talking about you guys working together, like how's y'all relationship? Me and Lil Jeremy, we good. Mm -hmm. I just talked to Lil Jeremy the day of the video shoot. He called me. Probably need y'all to come through, pull up at the video shoot, come fuck with me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really talk to him and Lane the most. Like. Just pick up the phone, what you got going on. They might call me, bitch, where you at? Pull up. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Them two artists is like the only two that I just call my brothers like that. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. they done really showed me love and really done did shit for me that a lot of people haven't. You know what I'm saying? But like as far as knowing them, I knew them before they was hot, before the world knew them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's why it's easy for me to fuck with them now because mm -hmm. I ain't fucking with them because they hot or they bigger than me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, I'm so genuine with people, they like, man, I got to fuck with this nigga. Good talk. So, all right, it's a north side Houston, south side Houston, right? Where are you from? I'm from the north side. You're from the north side. All right, what's the main difference between the north side of Houston and the south side of Houston? I think it's like the pace. How fast we move, fast we get on shit. Like the South Side, they more like, they get the shit first. Like, you know what I'm saying? We trying to get it back. Like with me being on the North, we trying to get it back. But the South, they really get the shit first. Like they got the mall over there. Everybody want to be on the gallery side or Sugarland and A-Leaf and all of that. You know what I'm saying? The north side, we really got a reputation so bad that people scared to come over here. Like, they think they gonna come over here and get took down and, man, the north side niggas, they grind me. But the same shit can happen to you on the south side. So it's like, it's really the same world on both sides, but it's just, like I say, the pace, like, the way people move. Like, on the south side, that bitch be traffic all day. Yeah. It's jumping on the south. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Over here, we so spread out. It's like you got Greens Point over here, then you got to take 10 minutes to get to Acres home, then you got to take 15 minutes to get to uh, Homestead. It's like we so spread out that we in our own little world. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It ain't nothing that everybody on the north side go to. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like everybody on the south side go to the Galleria. So it's like, if we had something like that, then the north side would be a place like that. But it's like, niggas don't have, like a nigga come down here to the north side, where we gonna take them? To the Galleria. So oh, it's like, shit. Yeah. That's why I say, like, they just got more shit on that side. Mm. That's shit, really man. the only difference. Yeah. Now you spoke, you spoke about, you know, people can get taken down anyway, anywhere. Um, I saw this on your IG, you was like, I can't laugh at a nigga at the bottom because I've been through shit. Mm -hmm. Can you explain that? Well, anybody been knowing me as an artist, I ain't gonna say as a person because everybody know me as a person. Like, you seen where I was when I very first made a video to where I'm at now. It's like, you don't just get there by not being consistent or not pushing yourself on a day-to-day -day basis. Like, if you don't get out here and get it, your situation is gonna be at a standstill. You know what I'm saying? So every day, for my first year of rapping, like, bro, I'm out there, outside, recording, rapping, shooting a video, doing something that got to do with music. Mm -hmm. 
You know what I'm saying? Whether people was telling me to do it or not, people was liking it, I was getting good feedback on it. I was still doing it because I had, I really came from nothing, like zero. I really had zero dollars and I ran that shit all the way up. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I had to sacrifice, like, like I had to sacrifice a whole year of my life, really, to get on my shit. Because mm -hmm. at the time, I was one foot in, one foot out. Mm -hmm. I was like, well, shit, I don't really have no other options. Like, mm -hmm. we're going to go two feet in on the street side, and then we're going to do this rap shit in a minute. So I had to really take a break from rapping so I can actually get money to rap. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because it don't make sense if you don't have the money to rap mm -hmm. and you rapping. Because gonna come a time where shit need to be paid for or somebody gonna want some type of money from you mm -hmm. and if you don't have it or you don't have no hustle or you don't you know what I'm saying have nobody putting no bag behind you it's not gonna work for you because these people move for money mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying fuck all that you the hottest you talented these people move for the money mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying